What is up everybody? Welcome back. Today I've got some good videos to show you. So let's jump into it. So the first video is not really a video. It's more of a series of videos that kind of come together to just show how stupid people can be, I guess. So people apparently don't know this, but there is a $2 bill. There is actually a $2 bill. It goes 1, 2, 5, 10, blah, 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 blah. And there's been a lot of videos about people who have had the police called on them because they tried to pay with a $2 bill. Uh, and one of my favorites, uh, my favorite ones, I'm calling the chicken nugget heist because a kid in an American high school who was about 11 or 12 tried to buy $2 worth of chicken nuggets and paid with a $2 bill and was immediately called, like the, the dinner lady immediately called the cops on him because they had a $2 bill. And I was like, oh, this is so beautiful. And it took like the police going to the bank to figure out that the two dollar bill was real so i was just kind of sit sat here going the fuck is going on with these people i mean we have a two pound coin it's not the same but i guess you know it could fall within the same kind of i didn't know this existed in fact i've probably got a two pound coin up there but yeah it was just kind of weird to see that people don't know their own currency i guess so yeah, the first kind of pick really goes to the inadequacy of people knowing that they have a $2 bill in their own currency. <laughs> so the second video goes to um, a game that I have not played in a long time, Battlefield 4. Uh, and this video is actually quite an old video, yet as, as it was on my feed recently, and I found that kind of interesting. And uh, it's called LAV Attacks Shanghai Tower, and yes, I was reading it right there. And it shows, um, there used to be like a weird thing, if you drove your vehicle into the water, it would bounce. Which was quite hilarious when you'd see, like you'd just be running with your gun, and then you'd see this tank fly overhead, and you'd be like, the fuck was that? Kind of confused out of your brain as this tank flies overhead, and no scope here, and you're just like, what? But this entire video is this team gets into an LAV, Dry, like gets blown into the water by a dude with C4, lands on top of Shanghai Tower and proceeds to defend it against attack choppers and everybody until the building pretty much just blows up because the Shanghai Tower collapses and I was just I was just giggling my tits off laughing at this the fact that this it flies like this right and it's spinning and it lands on top of the tower and you can see the chat log come up when they kill people just like the fuck is an LAV doing on top of this tower it's like a guy flies in in a chopper and he's like, what? And I'm just like, that's exactly what I remember from playing Battlefield 4. I'm from playing pretty much any game uh, recently where you can just do weird, outrageous shit with vehicles. So our second pick goes to, uh, yeah, NLAV attacks Shanghai Tower. Now the third video goes to something that I'm pretty sure we've all experienced. Um... It's, it's from College Humor, and it's called Guy Who Overhypes Everything. And we've all experienced this kind of person in, in real... You know, the kind of person who goes, Oh my God, it's so awesome. And then you watch it, and it's just kind of like mediocre. And I was watching it, and it, apart from the fact that the guy who play, who acts in it, very good, gets the, the overhyped, creepy kind of stare down perfectly. You know, the whole... Oh, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Go watch it. It's amazing. Go watch it. It's amazing. You'll love it. Seriously, love it. It's amazing. Go love it. Go, 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 go. That's me. Just, yeah. But it was, it was fucking, I swear to God, it, I love random shit and the overhype person in, in daily life, I both love and hate because they're coming at you and the, you know, they'll give you some suggestions for stuff and you'll be like, eh, and sometimes you watch them and you're just like, oh, well, this was fucking pointless. Sometimes you watch them and it's actually pretty good. So I've kind of got this weird conflict going on with the overhype person, which is, should we listen to them and be disappointed or should we just fucking ignore them? Uh, and College Humor really gets down this entire thing perfectly. Two co-workers listening to the fucking overhype guy and they're like, oh, you bust, fuck off. And it's just brilliant. College Humor always gets my pick in some good videos. So, yeah. College humor, guy who overhypes everything. Now, the fourth video, which is kind of going to be our last proper video, 
Um, goes to the channel Today I Found Out. Now, it's about the Queen's Guard and can they actually react to things or not. And this is something that I think both a good video and actually really needs to be talked about because what you don't realise about the Queen's Guard is if if they're on parade or they're just stood doing the thing and you make them laugh while there is a supervisor around or someone doing an inspection, you can get them fired. Wow, this is being a bit downing. The Queen's Guard are awesome. They're more ceremonial than anything now. And yes, they can actually react to some stuff, which I found out. I knew very little about the Queen's Guard. And everybody comes over and like, oh my god, the Queen's Guard, Buckingham Palace. Nah, you're fucking London jobs. Um, but yeah, it's more along the lines of the fact that if, you make, if you're trying to make them laugh or you... I found out people stab them with pins to try and make them flinch and all this kind of stuff. Women flash them. So, you know, maybe I should become a Queen's Guard. But it's just like all the dickish shit people do to the Queen's Guard is kind of like, the fuck are you doing? And then I found out by messing with them, if they are found out they can be docked, pay, or fired from the Queen's Guard and no longer be part of the Queen's Guard, which is disastrous, yeah. Stop being dicks. Take a photo with them. Be polite. Yeah, because they, they've got no problem with that. Don't walk up to them going, poke, 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 because they'll poke you back. I found that out as well. Apparently, they are allowed to react to these things. Um, if you're in the way, so if they're marching, they will shout at you to get out of the way of the Queen's Guard, which you should do. Um, if you're being a dick, they can very aggressively stomp to startle you and then shout, move away from the Queen's Guard. And if it looks like you're trying to attack Buckingham Palace or just be a dick towards Buckingham Palace, they have a bayonet on the end of a rifle, which is sometimes loaded. So, yeah, they can react to that as well. But at the same time, they also help detain um, people being dicks so the police can come along because they've actually got a little button inside the box which calls the police, which I find pretty awesome. But yeah, th this is... It's awesome the stuff that you can find out about the Queen's Guard in this video. There's way more stuff than what I mentioned. And uh, I actually I applaud what the Queen's Guard do because I've been to London. I've seen the shit they've had to deal with. And I found some more shit out that they had to deal with in this. Fucking hell. Um, yeah, so this video is not more of a, wait, this is an awesome video. It's more of a, this is an awesome video and a life lesson in the same thing. So yeah, so our, our final full video pick is today I found out <laughs> don't fuck with the Queen's Guard. Now, video five, I guess we could say it's an actual video. It's more of a self-promo video. Uh, I've just started a new series over on the game called Stonehearth. You can actually go check out the first episode. It went live yesterday, and it was a ball egg. Um, but yeah, I'm now trying to get into a bit more of a relaxed gaming style, and Stonehearth is helping me with that. It is an awesome game, uh, which you can find on Steam. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, it's just a bit of self promo awesome. It'd be great if you could go over and watch that because it's just it's it, it helps me relax. And so far, what I've heard, it helps you guys relax because it's it's a nice calm game. So it'd be nice if you could go over, check that out, booster it up, get some more likes on it, get some more shares, and uh, just some more views, please. So that's actually the end of today's video. Some videos were good, some videos were life lessons, some videos don't make sense, but every single video is still awesome so as always make sure you hit so the like share and the subscribe end of button that's actually today's video and some videos were let's good let's see if we can get some, some comments down below lessons, if some videos don't make found sense something out today but every single video that you never knew still and awesome. mine obviously is the Queen's so, God thing as always, and we'll probably sure be doing something like this and subscribe every week from now on and um, so thanks for watching today guys and as always down below if you found something out today that you never knew and mine obviously is the Queen's God thing and we'll probably be doing something like this every week from now on. Um, so thanks for coming along today, guys. And as always, stay awesome.